Greetings everyone, it is your friend Angel Writer and I thought I would do something a little bit on the fun side today in regards to vlogging. Um, I've actually been in a creative mode lately which has been nice and I've been starting to do some other things that keep my writing going so that makes me very happy if you will. Um, I wanted to do some reality show talk. Now granted in the past I've said oh I don't like these reality shows yada 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 but it doesn't mean I can't talk. Mm. And bitch about some reality shows that are out there now especially the ones that are kind of like my guilty pleasures because let's face it for most of us reality shows are a guilty pleasure let's make no if ands or buts about it so let's just get that out there in the open and clear if you will so um i want to start with dancing with the stars they've, they've recently started a new season and they have some really interesting people on there um they have Charo, Mr. T, Chris Kattan, who unfortunately got out, but he's had some issues, so it's, it's, at least he gave it a go, because he got ousted recently. Um, Erica Jean, who's from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and is my favorite Real Housewife ever, of any of them, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, let's see, my favorite dancer, Max, is on there, but Gleb, who's dancing with Erica, is also becoming a new favorite of mine. Let's just say he's very fappable, ladies and guys, if you like that style. <laughs> um, I also um, have, um, you know, just, just was, got a chance to finally watch it in the second week, and yeah, I'll be watching this one. This, is, this has got me interested. Charles is just completely nuts, but they're going to keep her on, I think, for the comic relief factor. That's just, that's just a gimmick. Let's put it that way. Um, going to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, speaking of, it's been a very intense new season. They've gotten a couple new people. Uh, this Dorit, whose husband manages Boy George, should really know better when it comes to criticizing people for what they do and how they act because, well... They're managing Boy George, and he is about as unconventional as you can get in something that you can't tell the rules to or about. Yet she's trying to do this to poor Erica. So this year it feels like Erica's just being bullied. I don't know if this is her initiation officially as a housewife or what, but I don't like it. I don't know the reason. I don't see any reasoning, and it's just, it's just terrible. Let's put it that way. It is just terrible. So, yeah, Dorit needs to kind of lay off. And, yeah, her husband's no better either. Let's put it that way. Now, whether or not she's going to last on the show, I have no idea. But let's just say um, signs are pointing to maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. Uh, Eden, who's also on, but she was, she's not featured in the opening credits, interestingly enough, I think probably would be more of a survivor on the show than Dorit, quite frankly. And it seems like any new person who becomes a boy on the show, they just either don't last long or if they're too weak, they don't last long. Because, you know, people like that, the drama. They like the dramatics. What can we say, right? So, anyway, um, but Erica is my favorite housewife of all time because she is who she is. She flaunts it. She gets it. She does it. And I love her for it. She is just completely awesome. Just saying. Okay. Um... Then there's We Real Housewives of Atlanta that's kind of sparked my curiosity this year, or this season. Um, they've had some pretty intense things happen there as well. Um, and the thing with Atlanta and any reality show from Atlanta, that seems to be the thing right now, it is so ghetto. It's ridiculous. It's like ghetto reality shows. I mean, you got that black ink, okay? Um... That Black Ink show. Um, I think they did Atlanta, but they were also in New York and North Carolina or whatever. But it's, it's, ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Anything made in Atlanta anymore, it's, that's, it, it's, and it's become a boom there because it's cheap to make. They got, they, they get the tax breaks where we don't in Michigan or else we probably have a real housewife of Detroit, which we should have. <laughs> so that's gotten pretty interesting there. Um, I would have to say that the relationship issues are the ones that are just really, especially Kenya's relationship with her man. Um, she, you know, I've heard that she has since not gotten back together with the guy, which is good because this guy has issues and he really needs to see a therapist or something. Because, you know, he shouldn't be treating Kenya like that. He shouldn't be going into his jealous rages because that's a sign to me that if that's how he's going to be like now, imagine in the marriage and if he's going to be abusive and everything. You don't want to go through that. As a woman, I don't think you want to go through that. Okay, um, speaking of black ink, I've watched one of, 
the, the, the latest episodes, but the thing with these latest tattoo shows, because there's also one called Tattoo Girls, and I've only seen one episode of, is they only focus on the drama, and they don't necessarily focus on the art itself, because that's what interests me. They focus on all the other bullshit, and unfortunately, that's what gets ratings. Now, with the Kat Von D show, it was, it was a nice mix between the artists doing their work and the stories behind the work and the drama that went. But I think because of the drama, that's where it's re it really lost its flavor, and I think that's why Kat said, no, I ain't going to do any more of that. So I'll have to say it's good for her on that note. Uh, but you can find Kat Von D on YouTube, and she's doing very well for herself, so good on her. Um, speaking of people who have their own businesses and whatnot, you got the Kardashians that are back again. Now, granted, this is one I've watched on and off. Now, this season is pretty intense, and I think it's worth watching because of what Kim Kardashian went through with um, the traumatic experience of having her goods stolen from her, being robbed at gunpoint, tied up, etc. I don't think it matters who you are, whether you like that person or not, whether you like that celebrity or not. No one deserves to go through that crap. They really don't. And celebrities are just it doesn't matter if reality stars or whatever they're human beings too and i think what's interesting and in how they're doing it this season is just showing the process of what you go through when you go through a traumatic experience and suddenly how when one crazy happens it seems like it just kind of is a barrage of craziness um just i mean just seeing the process because it is kind of like a grieving process and you know it's one thing you don't understand when you hear the headlines but when you actually see the show and what they're the family's actually going through, you kind of feel for them a little bit. Um, granted, my favorite's always going to be Chloe because, well, because Chloe is Chloe, you know, and uh, she she just has she's a, she's kind of an independent spirit, and I kind of like that. But yeah, pork. I mean, it's and I bet you they're still really from it. I know Kendall recently was in the news because she had her place broken into. So it's yeah it's it's pretty bad now some people think oh they deserve it nobody deserves shit like that what if it happens to you i mean seriously do you think you deserve it i'd say no but anyway those are my guilty pleasures reality shows if you have something you want me to talk about or you have a guilty pleasure put it out there below let me know let's get some interaction going people i got enough of you i got enough of people following me and watching me let's get talking people tell me what drives you and also uh, keep watch on my blogs where I'll be posting up more and also go to my other channel Angel Writer Creations I've got some pretty heavy hefty issues and that's where I'm getting a little bit more serious we're here this is the fun shit okay so take care everyone stay safe stay healthy and enjoy this weather if you especially if you get nice spring weather bye